I'd like to show you a makeup that's going to show a little bit of the skin through the makeup. So first of all, this is going to look strange, but this is my hair hack. Oh, I don't know if I can do this for the whole video. For curly hair. So I've got very curly hair, and if I stick these up like this, then it trains the hair to sit back, and it doesn't put any extra kinks, and it allows it to dry. Now, funnily enough, I turned up um, at a wedding job yesterday with my hair like this. I'd forgotten to take them out, so not sure what they thought. They thought, might have thought it was a new style, but anyway, that's how I started. So I'm going to start prepping my skin, and I'm going to use the um, Go To Skin Face Hero. It's the first one, it's a beautiful oil. Okay, so it's really important to let that product settle in because it is an oily product and you really want your skin to just absorb that and everything that it'll give. So it's, it's already started to give me quite a nice boost of hydration. Um, yep, and I've popped it down my neck as well. The next product I'm going to use is the Airy Day um, Sunscreen. Now this I've just come to absolutely love. I've only got onto it in the last couple of months. And it just, you'll, you'll notice straight away when I start putting it on, it'll get rid of that dewy look, but it just settles into the skin beautifully. Instead of using a foundation today, because it is a Sunday and I just like that little bit of coverage, but I do want my skin to show through, I'm going to use one of the Youngblood um, CC Perfecting Primers. Now, I'm going to use the tan today because I would like a little bit more glow to my skin. So to keep it in with all these nice creamy products, I'm going to use one of the Charlotte Tilbury, um, it's called the Contour Wand. So we're going to contour with this. Now I know it has spilt a little bit, yes. So we're just going to place that there and there. Okay, so if you've done this and added too much, go in with your brush and just really buff that up and out and you'll realize that it's not as dramatic as it first appeared. So just buff it up into your temple and out into that hairline there. Maybe even across the eyelid just for that excess product. Really got too much just then, but as you can see, that's buffed out quite well. I'm going to use the Charlotte Tilbury highlighter and I'm going to go a lot easier with this product knowing now that it is quite full on. So I'm just dotting a couple of dots on the high points of my cheeks there, a little bit through the middle of the nose and then we'll just blend that in with the finger. So keeping it just on those high points and again really natural even tempted to just put a little bit just underneath that brow bone. For the cheeks I'm going to use the Makeup by Mario, the Pale Petal. So it has the blush on that side and also the brush on the other. I'll show you how I do that. The eyes, I'm going to use the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Bronzer. This is the medium, number two. So I'm going to use this just to carve out a bit of a contour through the eye socket. In the same bronzer, I'm just going to set where we've done the cream bronzer. use 
some of this Makeup by Mario Cheek in the Pale Petal and just pop that on the top of the eyelid there just to bring those eyes out a little bit. Here I'm using the White Knight Mascara by Pony Cosmetics. I'm just quickly hiding a few little blemishes with a little bit of foundation and also tidying up underneath the eye area as well. Combing through my brows with a spoolie brush. This is a lip liner by Sephora. And I'm just overlining the top near the cupid's bow, but then sticking to the natural lip line. So just in the center at the bottom as well, just to make them a little bit fuller. I'm using the Pale Petal um, blush stick to go over that. So there you have it's a very natural glowy look with not too much foundation, just enough to cover any of those blemishes, um, letting the skin sort of show through. And then I'll show you how I take these out. So see how it helps the hair stay up. So this just gives me that little bit of lift through my fringe and it doesn't destroy the curl. So, and before I actually had curl cream through the hair, so that does help. And now I'll just keep giving it a good little scrunch. If you decide, let's say this side's not as high as that side, you can go back in and just give it another set, set it like that for a little bit longer. So that is why I do that, because it does actually work. And because my hair is quite thin, it doesn't disrupt the curl and it helps it to just curl naturally. Have a great day.